want to talk about some robberies. First, a big one. You remember that when Bush and company decided to reconstruct Iraq, they sent in plain loads of cash, shrink-wrapped bricks of $100 bills, shrink-wrapped for easy distribution. Now, after a long while, federal accountants decided to put down where all that money went, and so they asked some questions. Lo and behold, they couldn't account for all the money. Some $6.6 .6 billion was missing. Well, they thought it was just a paperwork error, so they did some serious investigations. But now, after three years of investigations, the accountants have given up. They don't know where the money went. And they think, they suggest, that the money was stolen. The Los Angeles Times reports Stuart Bowen, Special Inspector General for Iraq Reconstruction, an office created by Congress, said the missing $6.6 .6 billion may be the largest theft of funds in national history. Iraqi officials disagree with the number. They say the number is bigger, much bigger. The Iraqi Speaker of Parliament says that almost $19 billion was stolen. Now, the reason he's especially concerned was this was Iraqi money. Now, where did this money come from? You may remember that decade when Iraq wasn't allowed to sell its oil and had money to purchase food for its people and babies starved to death. Now, 500,000 child deaths proved to be a public relations problem. And so after a while, the Clinton administration came up with the Oil for Food program. Iraq could sell oil. The money went to U.S. banks. And when the U.N. got around to it, some of this money was sent to Iraq for purchasing of food and medicine. There was also Iraqi money that had been in U.S. accounts and had been frozen. By 2003, this amounted to $20 billion. And that's where the plane loads of cash that uh, went back to Iraq came from. And some of it, or nearly all of it, has been stolen. Now, the joke seems to be on the Iraqis, because even though the United States was responsible for the money, the Bush administration had the Security Council pass a resolution saying that nobody in Iraq could sue the United States for anything that was done during Operation Iraqi Liberation. Six billion, 19 billion, whatever. Nobody seems to be looking too hard for the robbers. The United States Justice Department seems to have its handful trying to go after peace activists. Now about that other robbery. Democracy Now reports that James Verone robbed a bank in North Carolina so he could go to prison. Seems, to, seems that he was laid off from Coca-Cola, had no medical insurance, and something was growing in his chest. So he figured his best hope for medical treatment was to go to prison. So he went into a bank and gave a note to a teller saying, this is a bank robbery, give me one dollar. And then he sat down and waited for the police to come. He was arrested, but the joke may be on him. He was only arrested for larceny. So he may not get the three years in prison that he was hoping for that would give him enough time to cure his medical problem.